In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a downloadable product, which is exactly what it sounds like. It's a product which you can buy on the store and then download once you've purchased it. In Catalog Manage Products, I'm going to click Add Product. And with a default attribute set, I'm going to choose Downloadable Product. And the top of product that I'm going to do is um, an MP3. It's basically a few seconds of me playing on guitar, which I see loads of people that would want to buy that. So I'm just going to fill in the basic information very quickly. You can give it a starting price, so um, you know it might cost ten pounds to start with, and then ninety nine p for every MP three that you buy. For example, I'm just going to leave that as zero. And then I put my tax class on there. Yeah, there's the front cover. And I'm going to not manage stock again, so I'm going to set that to no. The category, so I'm just going to put it into the music category if it qualifies as that. And also put it in the services category as well because it's something that you can purchase without having to enter shipping information. Okay, I'm going to not put any related products or cross sales or custom options on this product. I'm going to go straight down to the last tab, which is downloadable information. And there's two sections here. There's um, there's items that you can purchase, which are the links, and then there's a section for samples as well. So if you choose samples, you'll have a list of samples at the top of the page. And when you have links, these are the actual things that you're going to buy, and you can add a sample to each one of those links as well. So you, you can add samples in two different places. I'm not going to add a sample there just yet. I'm going to add in our downloadable product. So I'm going to put the header of music. Again, I'll lose, use that term loosely. And I'm going to have it so that items can be purchased separately if they want to. So I'm going to start by clicking Add New Row. And I'm going to put the title in there. The price of the track is 99p. And you can set certain things such as how many downloads people are able to have, or whether it's unlimited, or whether the content is shareable or not. So I'm just going to let it use the configuration and have unlimited downloads on the product. Okay, so there's two options now. I can either put a URL for the sample and where the file is actually located, or I can upload my file to the server. So this is good if you're using CDN, you can point to your URLs and they're encrypted nicely as well, so you don't have to worry about people finding out where all your content is. I'm going to upload a file for each of these. So we've got the sample there. And the actual file is there. Okay, so relatively low file size, so this should only take a few seconds to load. And what I'm going to do is at the top here in the sample section, I'm just going to add a, my sample there as well. So it's the exact same link as the one below. Okay, so that's all there. I'm happy with that, so I'm going to click save. Okay, so we go to our front end now. There it is. There's the front cover. And as you can see at the top here, we've got the sample that I've created. This is the music that you can buy, and there's the sample there as well. So if you just click on the sample, you'll bring it up and you'll be treated to a few seconds of my amateur guitar playing. So I'm going to add that to my cart. Oops, after checking it. And then what you'll notice when you proceed to check out is that it requires you to register. The system detects that you've got a downloadable product in your cart and requires you to register to be able to check out because otherwise you wouldn't have anywhere to download your content from once you've completed the purchase. So I'm going to log in with my account. 
which I've not filled any information in for yet. Okay, so there we go, I've completed my order. And what I can now do is log into my account or click the click um, the link that they provide there. And then there we go. My downloadable product is available in my downloadable products area. If I click the link, it tells you that it's not available yet because the status is still pending. So in the top in the top of product that I've got here and the way I've got my site configured, I have to confirm the order and process the order before they're allowed to actually download the, the content so I have to wait till that check comes through. If I go into my ad, admin area and look for the order, I've got all my information here and then one day at the office the check turns up through the post so I'm now happy to process this order and send the invoice. And then me as a customer will now have my download available to actually download when I click on it. That's how you create a downloadable product.